Look here at pregame. This is Bill Armstrong, an assistant for LSU there in white. Antoine Petway from Alabama. They start jawing a little bit. Other assistants start to get involved in it. Now here come the players. You'll see Javante Smart over here for LSU up top, clapping his hands. John Petty for Alabama. The jawing continues, gets a little bit more heated, and then into the fray comes SEC Commissioner Greg Sankey and several of his staff members to help quell the heated pregame. Right here during pregame, you see LSU head coach Will Wade and Nate Oates, the head coach at Alabama, shaking hands and laughing it off a little bit. You've got to love the intensity here in Nashville. And guys, I... Now on the defensive end, Andrew Jones just kind of gets lost. He's in the paint and then is late to find McNeil. Watch Ramey middle of the screen and he's screaming at him and there's a timeout yeah, and eventually a timeout and here they go watch this Andrew Jones gives him the Heisman and then they are going to get after it and I'm talking about holding each other back and and it, you know it's interesting I've been on a lot of these huddles John and sometimes it's just two competitive guys junkyard dog in it and Courtney Ramey apparently was upset with the lack of effort well we had big time fireworks while you were away technical on Mark Turgeon a double technical on Juwan Howard who has been ejected from this game and he was incredibly animated but Turgeon remains he just had one technical but here is what happened. See Juwan Howard starting to yell out something at the other side. And then there was some jawing back and forth between he and Mark Turgeon. Look at this. I mean, it, it got really testy, Sean. It, it did, and the officials did a good job of stepping in before what was a bad situation could have gotten progressively worse. And th now, what is always a tough job if you're an official, especially at this level, this became even more so because you're going to have to make sure that what happened as we went to break doesn't seep over. You look at the effect of the assistants that had to keep Juwan Howard back. For the three-point or the, the foul on the three-point shot, as they're taking a look and trying to see what happened, the foul was on Baldwin, his fourth. Still a lot of time left, 11.26 to go here in the second half. You take a look at it. If you were to imagine taking headsets and turning the volume down, he did that from the outside. He's only listening to the things that his basketball folks and Mike White are saying. And now we got a tie-up, Fulkerson on the ground. Pons gets in the face of Omar Payne. Rick Barnes is over there grabbing his players and moving them away. It'll Let's look take at a look. Right there. Oh my. He right there. That he one. Gone. The second one. Wow. With the right hand, and that he will be gone out of this game. And Omar Payne. Fulkerson went with the Boom. right, but that's a knockout elbow as Fulkerson collapsed to the ground. And Fulkerson gets hit to start Once, with. Boom. And then twice. the second one right there. That's. It's gonna be a flavor two foul. So Mike White maybe has his thoughts on it. Omar Payne has to leave the floor. He has to go to the floor of the locker room with that F2. Game, I had the under of 47. And yeah, look at Chris Beard. Well, I, this anger goes back to that fourth foul on McClung. Chris, look at how animated he is, and he draws a technical foul, and he's been thrown out of the game. Well, he's going to get his pound of flesh here. Chris Beard is fired up. And he's still going after this officiating crew.